Tori Petri out here at Lions Camp presented by Rocket Mortgage. And today we have a guest at practice, Beth Mullins from ESPN. She is going to be calling the Monday night football game uh, when the season opens against the Jets. Beth, you called Monday night football last year. What was your reaction when you heard you were going to do it again this year? Uh, absolutely thrilled. You know, I think everybody who watches the NFL knows that the Monday night football franchise is just a special thing to be a part of. And, and certainly with opening night and we are calling the first game this year so we're kind of bringing the franchise on the air and and we're real excited about some great storylines with Matt Patricia here in Detroit and the possibility maybe of Sam Darnold at quarterback for the Jets. So we're, we're thrilled. There's so much to watch for in that first game of the season. You've gotten to watch some of practice today. What stands out to you about the storylines to watch for for the Lions? I think first and foremost is the running game. I, I, I would guess most Lions fans are looking for that balanced offensive attack this year. And with Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn and, and from top to bottom, they bring in Carrion Johnson and, and Frank Ragnow through the draft. They bring in LeGarrette Blunt as a free agent. So I think the moves were made. The personnel is in place. And now it's just a matter of putting together the, you know, the right schemes. And, and um, the opportunity is there. I think I loved Carrion Johnson at Auburn last year. Had a chance to see him in a couple of games. I think Lions fans are really going to love him. What do you make of, of Matt Patricia's practices and what he might do with this defense this year? Well, you knew there there was going to be a lot of energy, and there was probably going to be a lot more physicality. And and based on what I've seen today, there's plenty of both of those. Um, and I, I think you know, with the defensive side of things, it's going to be really exciting. I, I think just from what he did in New England to see how he mixes and matches, how he sets up. Detroit's defense based on the personnel of the opponents and where you find those mismatches and those opportunities to get to the quarterback. Um, when you've got a guy like Darius Slay and, and a really good secondary shaping up, um, I, I think we're excited to see how they're going to be able to, you know, utilize those guys and lock down, um, you know, the Jets so you have an opportunity for the linebackers and those guys up front to, to get to the quarterback. You're obviously uh, preparing for uh, that Monday night football game. You're preparing to call Raiders uh, preseason yes. games as well. So we will see you next week uh, in Oakland or Napa, I should say, when the Lions have those joint practices. Uh, for Lions fans who, who aren't quite as familiar with the Raiders, what should we expect from those joint practices next week? Well, first of all, for anybody lucky enough to get out to training camp in Napa, I can say it's probably the best place to be in, in all of the NFL. Um, you know, obviously you've got a new head coach out there as well, so there's a lot of similarities with what the Lions are going through right now um, with John Gruden also bringing a lot of energy, a lot of physicality. They've brought in a lot of veterans. I think the Raiders' um, preseason roster is almost half new guys. So I don't know if we're going to see Khalil Mack in that game. He's still a holdout at this point. But um, you're going to see Derek Carr. You're going to see uh, Beast Mode. And a lot of excitement, I think, for the Raiders fan base about a bounce back for Amari Cooper and how the addition of Jordy Nelson will really affect things behind one of perhaps the best offensive lines in all the NFL. And, and for Oakland last year, a lot of questions on defense and a lot of unknowns that Raider Nation is still waiting to see what's going to happen. Well, Beth, it was a pleasure talking with you, and we look forward to seeing you in Oakland and then for that Monday night football game. Thank you very much, Tori. We're, uh, we're really looking forward to it. Of course. For DetroitLines.com, I'm Tori Petrie.